foreign policy is something that a lot of people think is your Achilles heel when it comes to getting elected. You said that you wouldn't have authorized the raid to get Osama bin Laden. You think that uh, a nuclear Iran is really none of our business. How do you reconcile that? What part of your job would ask President well, Trump? I, I, think, I think that's a, a misquote. I, I don't want Iran to get a nuclear weapon. I voted to go after bin Laden, so that you know takes care of that. But you know this business about when to go in, I don't think it's that complicated. I think we made it much more complicated than it should be. Yes, the president is the commander in chief, but he's not the king. And that's why we fought a revolution, not to have a king and decide when we go to war. We would have saved ourselves a lot of grief if we only had gone to war in a proper manner. And the proper manner is the people elect, elect congressmen and senators to make a declaration of war, and then we become the commander-in-chief and we make these decisions. But we went into Afghanistan, we went into Iraq, and now we're in Pakistan. We're involved in so many countries now, they want to move on to Syria, and they can't, there's some in Washington, I can't wait till they start bombing Iran. We have to change this whole nature. You know, something happened this week I thought was so encouraging, and it reminds me of how we finally talked to the Chinese. I mean, they had killed 100 million of their own people, but we finally broke the ice by playing ping pong. But today, the, Ch the American Navy picked up a bunch of fishermen, Iranian fishermen, that had been held by, uh, by the pirates and released them. And they were so welcome. It was just a wonderful thing to happen. This is the kind of stuff we should deal with, not putting on sanctions. Sanctions themselves are always leads up to war. And that's what we're doing. Eastern Europe is going to be destabilized if they don't have this oil. And this just pushes Iran right into the hands of the Chinese. So our policy may be well intended, but it has a lot of downside, a lot of unintended consequences, and unfortunately, blowback. Uh,